Hello kids. Let's learn about volume today. Volume. What is that? Volume is the amount of space occupied by an object. To be more specific, volume is the amount of space occupied by a three-dimensional object. I want to know more. For a one-dimensional object, we can measure its length. This flat square plane has two dimensions and area is the amount of space occupied by a 2D object. But for a three-dimensional object, volume is the amount of space that it takes up. Okay. So, the volume of this cube is the amount of space that it takes up. And the volume of this rock is the amount of space that it occupies. Let's go straight into a fun activity to find which container has larger volume. Here we have three containers with different sizes and shapes. Let's name the tall and skinny container as container A, the short but rounded container as B and the short and thin container as C. Which container do you think has the highest volume? Container A. Let's find out. One simple way to find out which container has a bigger volume is by measuring the amount of water it holds. Let's fill all this container with water. There we go. Let's measure the amount of water in the container using a measuring jar. Let's start with container A. Container A holds 4 cups of water. Let's move on to B. Container B holds 5 cups of water. Let's move on to C. And the container C holds 2 cups of water. So, which vessel has the largest volume? Container B. Container B. You got it. This was a simple experiment to compare the volume of objects. Now, can you measure the volume of this cube? How do I do that? Let's use the unit cubes to measure the volume of this 3D figure. What is a unit cube? A unit cube is a cube whose each side is one unit long. The unit could be one centimeter, one inch, one foot, one yard, and so on. Let's fill the 3D cube with the unit cubes and see how many can fit in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. This shape could fit eight unit cubes. So the volume is eight cubic units. Let's measure the volume of this cuboid or rectangular prism using unit cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The volume of this cuboid is 12 cubic units. Can you measure the volume of this 3D figure? Let's use unit cubes that have 1 cm on all its sides. How many unit cubes can this shape hold? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. So, the volume is 7 cubic centimeters or 7 centimeter cubed. Let's move on to the next figure. This time, let's use unit cube of 1 meter on all the sides. How many unit cubes can this figure hold? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. So, the volume is 4 cubic meters or 4 meter cubed. As we move further ahead, we can find the volume of objects using a simple formula. And that is volume equals length times width times height. Look at this figure for example. 
count the number of unit cubes along the length of the cube in the base layer. How many unit cubes are there? Four. Four. You are right. Count the unit cubes along its width. Two. Two. There you go. And how many are there along its height? Three. Three. Right. So, volume is equal to 4 times 2 times 3 and that is 24 cubic units. Applications of Volume Volume has lots of applications in our day-to-day -day life. Volume helps us determine the amount of stuff that can fit inside a 3D object. Measuring volume helps us find the amount of water needed to fill a bottle, an aquarium or a water tank and the amount of cement needed to fill in a pavement, a patio or make a concrete slab. Volume also helps us find how much sand we need to fill in the sandbox. And the applications are numerous. <laughs> I like it. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.